Hey there, this is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I'm Chef Johnny, and tonight we're running a little bit of test. I want to see what is the better binder. I have got two chickens cut up. I've got four halves, and we're going to use four different binders on these chickens. We're going to put them on the smoker. I'm going to use one plain, nothing on it. Just put the, uh, the spice right onto it, and then I'm going to use one that has plain oil, one with mayo, one with mustard. Now, y'all know I use mustard all the time. And uh, that's what I like, but we're going to test to see which one comes out best. So stick around and let's find out what happens. We're going to get this test started. I have uh, four halves here and they're nice uh, HEB naturals is what they are. And I tell you one thing I like, if you look, their skin's kind of a yellowish tint. That's the color of chicken skin ought to be instead of this white or pink that we look at. But uh, I like these naturals real well. These are about three and three quarter pounds. So they should take us about 90 minutes to cook on our barrel house cooker. But they're looking real pretty. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna season up each one differently. Uh, first one, let's see. I'm gonna take this one right here. This is gonna be our, our control. So it's been patted dry. I got a new spice we're gonna try here today. Uh, Cowboy Spices, this is their Texas Yard Bird. Uh, I think it's gonna be really good. I've sampled it, I haven't tried it on any chicken yet. Picked it up at the Texas Restaurant Association Marketplace the other day, but visited with the people there. They have a lot of different uh, type of rubs and we're gonna give their chicken rub a, a try and see how it turns out on our, on our test chickens today. So I'm gonna take this and I always, uh, one thing I want to do is I'm going to kind of pat underneath it to get the moisture off where it was dripping so I don't get more moisture up on top of that bird. But I'm going to turn it skin side down. And I always just put a light coating all the way up on the back side of this bird. I want to lift up and make sure I get the leg. So there's that right there. Lay this one down, and we're going to come back over the top with a nice coating. And then I'm going to lift up the wing, turn this around so y'all can see a little better. I'm going to lift up the wing and get the back side of the wing and the breast right where that, where that wing was covering it. Try to get a nice even coating. That one looks really nice. So I'm going to spin this around. Next one will be my... Uh, Let's make this one my mayonnaise. We'll do mayonnaise first. I'm gonna dry this off. Try to keep the birds as dry as we can. Uh, you're gonna see they brown better if that skin's dry instead of wet when you put it in there. And I said we were gonna use mayo. So here's our mayo. Just, uh, this is, um, what is this? Um, craft, craft mayonnaise, what it is. And it doesn't need a whole lot, just a thin coating. That's nice on that one. Let me clean my hand off, or i tell you what, I don't need to. I'm gonna turn it over, because I'm gonna get it dirty anyways. Lift up the skin a little bit. Get that breast good. Back side of the wing, and now up on top of the wing, but nice coating there. Spin my tray around again. Let me wash my hand off now. I'm going to go the same way again. I'm going to take my chicken, clear off where he was sitting so I don't lay it down in water. I got that top fairly dry. I want to keep it that way. So pat off the bottom a little bit. And we're going to come on with some uh, French's mustard. And this is what I use on my chickens. Not too much. You can get too much on there. And... Some people are always worried about the mustard flavor coming through. My sister hates mustard. And so I kind of judge this on her is when she heard I used mustard on my chicken, she was shocked and like, oh no, I don't like that. And I go, Cheryl, you eat it that way all the time. But she, uh, she tested it up and sure enough, she said she could not taste the mustard on it at all. It's really just works as a binder. Now, if you get some big blobs, maybe sometimes back around the bones or something that kind of blob up in there, you're probably going to taste that, but Overall, it's not going to put a big mustard flavor on your, on your chicken.
hands cleaned off, and we'll do our last chicken with oil. I just have uh, extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to put a light amount on here, both sides. Same process again. So the chickens are ready to go on the barrel house cooker. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on the rack. I'm not going to hang them because when you hang them they kind of stretch out and uh, I feel like you can't get an even cook when you do it that way. I'll put a link to my whole chicken cooking on the barrel house cooker so y'all can see those whole chickens hanging and how I truss them up to get them to stay nice and tight to cook uniformly. And I'm going to put a link in there of my barbecue chicken. So you can find that down below also and it'll show you how I cut up my chicken and uh, in that part of the process also. But today we're just doing the cooking so bear with me. I'm going to check temperature on the pit. If it's ready, we're going to try to get these birds on there. Temperature of our barrel house cooker sitting at 275 up at the top. So I would say on the great level, it's probably going to be around 300. I like to cook my chickens in that range, 275 to 300. So it's probably going to be pretty good. I'm going to mark two of these so we don't know where they're at. One of them I'm going to mark with is my meter. And if y'all haven't seen these, these are totally wireless. They will not only give you the meat temperature, but the temperature of your pit right there at your meat. So I'm going to put it in the one that has nothing on it. So it's our control what we'll call it that one's ready to go and then i am going to take the other one and i'm going to put it on our mayo so that way i know for sure which one those two are put those in there and the oil and the mustard won't be marked but i'll make sure which side of the pit they're on we're ready to go here and i'm going to get this lid off i have a little bit of mesquite down in here uh, to give us some smoke today. So straight toward the camera. Here's our control with nothing on it. Our oil to this side. Mustards on this side. And my last one. Is going to go right there, and that's my mayonnaise one. Now, my mayonnaise one has my uh, iPro Mini hooked it. Pass that through the port, and the uh, the iGrill Mini and the meter both work off of your uh, your smartphone. Make sure they're not touching. They're all kind of tucked. I kind of push them together. Kind of hard to tell. I got a camera, but I know it's not a, a great shot. But I try to kind of pack them together so they'll cook evenly. But let's get a lid on it. We'll monitor these temperatures and see how they cook up. I'm going to check these chickens real quick. And uh, the ones with the probes are in the low 150s. But I want to see what these other two are saying. Low 150s also. So... Tell you what we're sitting in the low 150s we're about an hour into it so they're they're on schedule they're looking pretty good we're just gonna let them keep smoking see how they turn out so stick with us and let's find out according to our gauges it's time to get these chickens off so let's see how they turned out there's the one away from us and it is pretty The one with our eye grill mini. See if I can get that out of there. There we go. Chicken near us. And the one with our uh, 
meter in it. So we've got them out. I think I know which one's which. Let's see how our test came out while I'm letting our chickens cool down. Uh, I'm going to show you something here. The barrel house is not getting taller. I'm not getting shorter. Anyways, they have made a extension to go on the bottom that makes this taller. And what that's going to do is now you can cook a longer brisket. Uh, those ribs, that, that tip is really down close, a long brisket, items like that, that made it tough to hang and keep high enough up off the fire. With this, you can. This is going to be the tallest barrel cooker of this type that there is. And uh, I'm excited about it. It's my first cook with it. Of course, it was just chickens. It wasn't hanging down, down deep. But uh, looks like it's going to be a good item. So check that out. Check out Barrel House Cookers. I really enjoy this one. And... Uh, I think I'm really going to like this extension also. Now, I'll tell you why these chickens are cooled off. We have time to look at them. I know which one's which. And uh, so I'm looking at it, and I, and I know which one I've picked is being, I think, the, uh, the prettiest one that I think what it looks like. Looked over them real good. I'm going to get uh, my nephews here eating dinner with us tonight, my son and my wife. We're all going to look. I'm going to let them come through and look at these chickens and see what they think has the best color. And... Uh, Everything was the same except for that binder, remember, except for our binder. So I'm going to let them pick, and then I'll let y'all know which binder came out on top. And then, of course, we'll give this chicken a try and see if it's any good. So y'all come on and look and tell me which chicken y'all think has the prettiest color. I think this one. Okay, you're picking this one, John? Color we're looking for, for color. Probably this one, okay? That one, that one's second. Would the one mom pick second? What do you think, Jake? That one, okay. Now I had these laid out and we know which one's which. We all know that the one with the meter in it was our control, the one that had no uh, rub on it, or not any rub, the one that had no binder on it at all was this one. So we know this one, which did not get picked, was our control, no binder at all. Uh, the other one that didn't get picked is this one over here. And it had the eye grill mini probe in it. So I know it's this one. It didn't get picked, that's our mayo. So nothing and mayo are out. We have the oil and the mustard left. These both are very nice looking chickens. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Uh, Jake and John picked the, uh, the one here. My wife and I picked this one. This is the oil, this is the mustard. and. Uh, I always use mustard. There's a reason I think it came out pretty. Now, my son and Jake both like it. I'm going to tell you right now, both these chickens are pretty chickens. There's nothing wrong with either one of them. Quite honestly, all four of them are pretty good-looking chickens. But uh, they crisped up a little bit. They look better, and uh, everything looks really nice. So I hope you kind of liked our little test here tonight of the, of the different chickens and how they turned out. I am going to slice this up a little bit and see uh, how it turned out. Y'all guys want a piece of chicken? Yep. See, everybody, everybody's hungry. They want to try chicken. You want me to cut a piece of breast off for y'all? All right, here's the one y'all picked. So I'll give y'all some of this one. See if y'all like it. There's a edge of the breast there for you, John. And again, this is our Cowboy Spice Texas Yard Bird is what they call this one. You know, you really don't taste that mustard in the binder. It's just how does it add color to your to your chicken? I tell you what, there's good smoke flavor in this. That uh, cowboy spice came out real good. Uh, I'll put a link for their uh, website down below. Real nice people. Met them the other day. These chickens came out really good. I tell you what, all four. There's nothing wrong with any of the four. Uh, oil and mustard, it was a, a two and two tie. So uh, I kind of expected that today. And I tell you what, uh, it's, uh, they're all pretty. They're all pretty. The guys thought that the, uh, the one that had no binder at all had a little different taste to it. Uh, so maybe it affected the way the smoke attached to that, to that yard bird. Uh, very well could have. Uh, the uh, Texas yard bird from Cowboy Spices. 
Uh, it was very good. I'll put a link for them down there. But I hope you enjoyed this little test. Thanks for stopping by Texas Barbecue and Cuisine. I always do appreciate it. Tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. We're going to see you down the road. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.